This is a beautiful world. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is a beautiful world. Molly Case is a nurse, born and raised in South London. She's also a spoken word artist, influenced by the early hip-hop and rap of Tupac and Eminem. In 2013, she reached international recognition for her poem, Nursing the Nation. One lady, passing, had no relatives to stay. We sang her to sleep, let angels carry her away. Were you there that day when we held her hand, told her nothing would harm her, that there was a higher plan? Saw her face as she remembered a faith she once held, saw her breath in the room as she finally exhaled. Case had been invited to speak at an annual health care conference with the Royal College of Nursing Congress. She was a student nurse at the time, working hard to pass her exams and log in her hours. She wasn't really involved in going to conferences, and she wasn't prepared for what happened next. I didn't realise that it was going to be a stadium, a stadium arena, a Bruce Springsteen stadium arena of 5,000 healthcare workers in Liverpool. And I felt in the air that something was shifting. Hindus, Muslims, Jews and Sikhs, Buddhists and Christians and just people off the street, we've cared for them all and we love what we do. We don't want to meddle, we just want to show you, so listen to us. You say we're not doing enough, then we promise we'll do more. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then there was this kind of almighty sound as people got up from their seats. And that's when I thought, gosh, that's, that's had an impact. And then it was that evening when I went back to my hotel room and the counter on YouTube got stuck at a certain number. And my husband, who's a bit techy, said, that means you've broken the internet. <laughs> that counter means that it can't count quick enough. And I said, oh no, I think it's just simply 307 views. And then the next day, you know, 150,000. Molly had hit on something. And I believe that the reasons why it resonated so far and wide is simply because it was a message we were all living and breathing, especially in the UK, but we hadn't yet rallied around and said it together. Case has also written a memoir that recounts her journey becoming a nurse. It's titled How to Treat People, A Nurse's Notes, and takes us to emergency rooms, surgery suites, and on ambulance rides, as Case and her fellow nurses work tirelessly to serve and save patients. Case says nursing is an exploration of ourselves. It really is about connection, learning about people's lives, and I think I always remember they quote to us in nursing school um, the Maya Angelou quote which is um, they may not remember the name but they'll always remember what you did for them and I just think that that is so true Um, and these moments of care that we have that we're privileged enough to have with people in, in hospital or in their homes there is this there's something in that extremis and in that vulnerability and in that tender moment that is that is life and that is death. One of her favorite stories in the book combines medicine and poetry. It's a story about a woman named Mary who lost her husband, the love of her life. And soon after, she was rushed to the hospital with symptoms of a heart attack. She was displaying all the symptoms of a heart attack. And yet there was no blockage. There was no signs of a heart attack. And yet she displayed all these cardiac symptoms of chest pain, um, rise in an enzyme that showed that the heart muscle had been injured. It turned out that she had a condition, which is quite rare, although I've seen it a few times, called Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. And this is a kind of temporary enlargement of the heart. And it can happen for numerous reasons. But in Mary's case, it had happened because she had been overcome with grief And there was something utterly poetic about this. For Case, writing and nursing go hand in hand. I always think nursing is kind of like an anthropological pursuit. It's the study of us, why we're here, what we're all up to, what it means to be here. That's the role of the writer and the poet as well, is to find meaning, learning people's stories and crafting something from it, whether it's a connection with somebody or a poem. Case believes everyone is born with the ability to take care of each other, the will to be kind and to do good, and to make people feel better.
there really is good within all of us that um, was important. And this Fred Rogers quote at the end of the book that says, um, when I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. And, you know, we're, we're in an age, unfortunately, where we're seeing huge acts of terror all the time. And it can get far too much for all of us, I think. And that, that quote, I still remember it from my childhood. And I, I really, truly believe that we are all meant to be good. Um, and we all have that within us. And, you know, I know that sounds a little bit idealistic, but I, I do see kindness and goodness in my job every day. Find out more about Molly Case and her memoir, How to Treat People, A Nurse's Notes, online at a beautiful. Dot world. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is A Beautiful World, NPR News. Brought to you with help from the Polad Family Foundation.